activists will rally outside City Hall in Jersey City today, calling for lowering the age required to vote in Board of Education elections in the state from 18 years old to 16. The group pushing for change is Vote at 16, which is being advised by Musab Ali, who was formerly the president of the Jersey City Board of Education. Brianna Venozzi caught up with Ali about his journey in leadership at such a young age and what this new fight means to him. Musab, thank you so much for coming in to chat about this. Obviously, school board elections uh, have been making the headlines in New Jersey nationally. Is that why you see this as the time, uh, because there's momentum behind this movement? Why now? So, I, I mean, I got to say, this is not a new idea. Um, you know, in Indonesia and Greece, they already have federal elections where people are 16 and they can vote. Tacoma, Maryland was the first place in the United States where they did this, and that was 10 years ago in 2013. But I've just felt like, you know, recently school boards have become such a hot topic. Um, and the fact that we don't give our students agency, I think, is something that we definitely overlook. So are you and the group that you're working with, this group of teenagers, looking at places like Maryland, I believe California mm -hmm. as well has done something similar, to see how they've approached it? And what do you think will really resonate with people to get them on board? Uh, because, of course, I'm sure you hear criticism that 16-year-olds aren't necessarily mature enough to be right. making these decisions. Yeah, well, look, I think that 16-year-olds have so much at stake. 16, 17-year-olds, you know, they're able to drive, they're, they're able to work, which means they can get taxed. Um, and I think they have the agency, right? I work with a lot of young people. Um, you know, I first got, I first ran for office when I was 19. I got elected when I was 20. By the time I was 23, I was the school board president. Um, and one of the things that I realized throughout my time there was how much students really knew about what was going on in the schools. For a lot of, for a lot of reasons, you know, we'll talk to parents and teachers and taxpayers um, and ask them what they feel about education. But it's so rare that we actually ask students to give feedback on what they feel about what's going on in the schools. Yeah. And what do you hear from the students that you're working with? I mean, what are the issues that are top of mind for them? So I, I just think there's so many facility issues. There's issues around curriculum. There's issues around, you know, the ins and outs of how schools are run. Um, and I think the fact that we don't give them a voice in that process is really just doing them a disservice. Hmm. I mean, anything that you were to order today on Amazon, like you would leave a review, right? You're constantly asked to like provide feedback. But for some reason, when it comes to K-12 education, the end user, we don't ask them what's happening in their district. Even in my first campaign back in 2016, I remember calling them the forgotten stakeholders of education, right? Like everyone else is being asked their opinion on schools, but the people who are actually in school, are, we're not hearing from them. Yeah, I mean, and these are students, I imagine, who uh, have stakes in this across the board, whether that be issues like climate or, you know, we're obviously seeing an uptick in, in gun violence um, uh, across the board in the country. Um, and then, of course, book bans, um, curriculum, uh, gender equity issues. I mean, these students are really faced with a lot. Do they feel like if they have a vote, they'd be able to really make a, a change here? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you look at Tacoma, Maryland, for instance, the voter turnout rates for 16 and 17 year olds was much higher than any other age group. Like young people really, really care about what's going on. I know when I go to schools and I talk to young people and I ask them even how big the budget is in schools, like people have no idea how much money is being spent in education yeah. and they wonder like, are there better ways to spend this money? Um, in Jersey City, one of the things we did was we started a participatory budgeting process where we gave each high school $10,000 and we said, where do you want to spend this money? And you know, some people would think, oh, the first thing kids want are, are field trips. But actually the first things kids asked for were facility upgrades. They were like, listen, some of our bathroom stalls don't work, mm. right? And these are the things that you know, other people should have pointed out to us. But some people sometimes just feel like they can't do that, where students have that independence, right? There's no one hanging this over to them as like a sort of a job or something. And so they can be very honest and candid about things that they, need to, that, that they, that they see need to be fixed. Musa Bali is the former Jersey City School Board President. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.